There are very few people who, in medicine or anywhere who are trained to be organ recovery coordinators and improve organ function to maximize the number of lives that can be saved through an individual or family's gift of the gift of life. Currently, donor management is not very well standardized. When somebody dies and they get the option to donate their organs and tissue, this is a once-in-a-lifetime event. There's no time to make any errors. So a simulation center is needed for us to really have a safe environment where our professionals can come in and train. Where you can try out techniques and skills and interventions that you could never do in the real world. This is real life donor management. This is not a, a sit down and let's talk through a scenario type of thing. We're doing what we do, you know, this is what we normally do in the hospital, so it wasn't really acting, it was taking care of a donor. You're prone to making real mistakes and, and there's a lot of room for improvement just because you're, you're going to see yourself and you, you're, you're your best critic. We will focus on you and we will make sure that you walk out with everything you need to help those recipients to receive good organs. Okay, so... We're going to have three coordinators who will come in and work together and try to stabilize an unstable donor. I was the respiratory therapist today. I was um, the hospital nurse. I was the PTC. Um, we will introduce the clinical scenario that they will use to manage the patient. Who's a 27-year-old with a gunshot wound to the head. He's uh, progressed to brain death. He's had a couple of brain death exams. So based on the story, the storyline that you will provide us with and your target and objectives for the session, we create a specific customized patient for you. Instead of uh, see one, do one, teach one, they can actually learn by doing. People can come in and we can work through various clinical scenarios that they will face in real life on their job. Well, what's special about Bob is that he is a high fidelity simulator. He actually can open and close his eyes. He can breathe, we can connect him to a respirator, we can do the gas exchange measurements, we can draw blood, he can produce urine output. I walked in there and I can see his chest rising, I can feel the pulses and the carotid. I kind of forgot it, it's not a, it's not a human. I, I got so into it that I, I felt that it was a, like a real donor, a real patient. It is so easy to lose yourself in working with him and he will react physiologically. So if you're waiting for something to happen quickly, you kind of hold your breath the same way you do with a donor if you're in, in kind of a crash mode because you're waiting for that physiologic change. And Bob reacts very much the same way a human body would. So it's very realistic. The debriefing is where the team meets off-site. It's not about finger pointing, it's not about pointing out what went wrong. It's about recognizing the issue and then improving next time. Uh, we'll also have an opportunity to review the actual tape of what what they did to try to stabilize the donor. Uh, I just want to point out in terms of situational awareness, if you look at the monitor, you'll see what's happening. I think that's what I got from the debrief was, we make mistakes and we don't even know it. Because when we got done with the scenario, we felt like we did everything, we nailed it. But then you go back and you watch the video and it's, well, wait a minute, I'm not even, looking at the patient. Yeah, you could see on the monitor, the EKG ectopy, that the patient was becoming a little um, irritable in the, the heart, and none of us recognized that. That could potentially happen in real life, and now I know that next week, when I'm out on a donor case, I'm gonna be much more aware. When I'm in the room, I'm gonna make sure that my eyes are either on the patient more, or on the monitor. For the blood to get up here. Okay. Our mission is to save lives through organ donation and transplantation. We have to find new and creative ways to do that because the list is growing every day. Our goal is that managing the donor, learning to do so in a more effective manner, we can maximize the number of organs that are transplanted from each donor and help to save lives across the country. And it's an exceptional way to learn best practice. And that's what it's all about, is learning best practice when it comes to donor management. We're, as an organization, we're taking the lead to say we're creating a training environment for our staff and then we're involving all our partners 
because for us it's partnership that makes organ donation happen. Anybody who's interested in utilizing the One Legacy Simulation Center, whether it's an OPO or a hospital or a transplant center, simply have to go to the OneLegacy.org website, click on the Simulation Center tab, and all of the instructions will be right there, and we will be able to customize a program for you. So the gift that is passed on to us, we need to make sure that we make this gift usable for the recipient. And the family who gave the gift of donation really has the fulfillment Thank you.